alternatives. And then, uh, Senator John Cornyn called Joe Biden's tweets unimaginably conventional and said that his comments were largely scripted and questioned whether he was really in charge. Does the White House then have any reaction to that? Well, I can confirm that the President of the United States does not spend his time tweeting conspiracy theories. He spends his time working on behalf of the American people. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Uh, jo oh, Josh, you went. Go ahead. Help me first. Yeah, go ahead. Great. Thanks, Jen. Uh, so just to piggyback off of, on the corporate tax rate, yeah. Senator Manchin said that he only supports raising it to 25 percent, that that's his line in mm -hmm. the sand. What's the White House response to that? And has the President or Secretary Buttigieg spoken to Manchin about the corporate tax rate? Well, we are in regular touch with a range of officials, senators, members of Congress. Uh, there have been dozens and dozens of meetings and briefings. Uh, I don't have a specific readout of our engagements with Senator Manchin. I'm sure he could share that with all of you. But I would say that we're certainly encouraged to hear that Senator Manchin is open to raising the corporate tax rate as a means of potentially paying for a historic investment in our nation's infrastructure and, most importantly, to creating jobs. And the president is happy to hear ideas or alternatives for how this plan and package could should be paid for. His primary focus is on this investment, on creating jobs, on uh, helping put back to work the millions of uh, men and women who don't have college degrees, on ensuring we're evening the playing field, on doing what we can to compete with China over the long term. There are disagreements about how to pay for it. We're happy to have a discussion about it.